What's up guys, it's Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports and I'm bringing you a solo video today. Russo would be here, but it is his anniversary, so happy anniversary to him and his wife. Um, I hope they have a great day and uh, yeah, let's get into this video, man. Um, stoked to get you guys these two plays I got. Um, I've got two for uh, underdog, one's kind of similar and one's a little bit different, but I do feel good about these four, but um, I'm going to be mainly talking about the prize picks ones as like the other ones are just kind of like um one is basically the, the same play and then the other one is just another one that i like on underdog but yeah um so before we get into this video if you guys have never tried prize picks use the promo code down below and they will match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars um we don't have our own custom link with them yet so you'll just have to type in that weird little barcode there um and then for uh underdog if you guys want to try underdog use code backdoor over there um it's a lot of fun on underdog we've definitely been playing a lot a lot of that and uh also with chalkboard chalkboard is another um pick em style app if you guys want to go check that out you can bump your lines up and down um and manipulate the multiplier on like your payout and stuff that's also code backdoor over there so check all that out in the link in the description for all the goodies but uh yeah so these are the two plays i've got for you guys on prize picks i've got bradley beals fantasy score for over 34 and i've got luka Doncic for over 0.5 offensive rebounds um i'll get into why um yeah no recap because it's the daily show we still have two picks available from last night so if you guys wanted to go check out that video go check that video out from last night as well um cool so yeah um i am going to start with Let's start with the over-unders here. So, we've got this Phoenix and Timberwolves game. I, I think Phoenix is probably going to steal game two. If they don't, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, they had a lot of issues with, like, I mean, it's kind of like their identity at this point with the turnovers and stuff. Like, they got to get that stuff cleaned up or they're not going to win in playoffs. Um, but uh, <laughs> Russo would disagree with me if he was here. But, yeah, I mean, they uh, – a couple of their guys just had really bad performances too and the Timberwolves couldn't miss anything last game you had Nas Reed coming off the bench and just literally making every shot and then you had some friendly bounces that got Anthony uh, Edwards off to a crazy start so uh, yeah I think they're going to be able to kind of bounce back in this game so we'll see how they uh, you know kind of change up their approach but uh, let's start with Bradley Beal I like his fantasy score over my cat is just clawing at the door uh, I like Bradley Beal's fantasy score over 34 here. Um, you know, it's juiced under on daily grind, but they kind of always do this because there's a, there's a line discrepancy here. Um, you can see it's a minus 113 to go under, so it kind of is favoring the over here. Um, I love the over on this play. I could never take the under with how Beal's playing. Over the last uh, 10 games here, he's gone over the seven straight games. Um, even with the kind of lackluster scoring performance he had in the last game, he still he only scored 15 points and he still hit this line. So, I mean, that's not a typical Bradley Beal scoring game, as you can tell. Um, if he goes off scoring today, he's going to crush this line. Um, as you can see in the last uh, game before that against Minnesota, he went for 36 points and he dropped 58 fantasy scores. So, not expecting him to have that crazy of a performance. I hope he does. But if he even gets close to this line i mean with the way he plays defense um he's been kind of cleaning up his turnovers a little bit uh, if we want to look at his stats here he's averaging uh 8.8 .8 field goal makes per game on 14.8 attempts he's shooting almost 60 percent from the floor and he's shooting 62 percent from three over the last five games so dude's really dialed in right now for playoffs he really wants to win um so yeah if we keep checking some of this stuff out here me and my cat are gonna fight but um i really just like this play a lot i mean the dude is a defensive machine too he can be like the dude gets a ton of blocks and steals not like a ton but enough like you see he's averaging about three a game he can go off though like five blocks in a game is crazy i'm not expecting him to do that either but the dude is very consistent on getting at least two to three blocks and steals a game so i like the fantasy score with the upside of the way he can assist rebound and score the ball um on underdog i'm taking his pra at 27 and a half i feel good about his pra as well not as good but i feel good about it enough to where i would play it over there um kind of the same situation over there he's just gonna have to have a lot better of a scoring game for this so you know take that as you will for over there but i'm definitely gonna be playing it because i think he's gonna go off i think he's gonna have a good game tonight so um i think he's running like the point and the two so either matchup's tough man i mean the 
but the Minnesota Timberwolves are a very, very tough team. So he's going to have to play pretty good. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if we look at his PRA over here, it is, um, it is juiced slightly to go under minus 20, 124. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I'm going with this fantasy score. So that's what I really, really like. If they come out with this fantasy score on underdog, take that for sure. Um, okay. So Luka Doncic for over one offensive rebound. I feel good about this play, honestly. Like he's done it in 13 out of the last 20 games and four out of his last five. He's in. Uh, he's a defensive rebounding machine. Like the dude gets a lot of defensive rebounds. Um, 12, 7, 10, 8, 12. But he's still getting one offensive rebound in there. It's the playoffs. I think he's gonna just. The dude's scrapping for his life, and the Clippers give up a ton of offensive rebounds. They they're 26 in the league in offensive rebounds allowed, giving up 11.1 a game. So I mean. I think he can at least snag us one. He did last night. He's done this four out of seven in the head-to-heads. Um, you can see that he's gone for like three. So I feel good about it. I'm going to be playing it for sure. It's just like a fun play. Um, if you guys don't feel good about it, I totally understand. Um, you know, his full rebounds, in my opinion, look great too. At just nine and a half. If you guys want to take that, I'll be playing a lot of this too. Um, it's just a, you know, tough rebounding matchup, but it's Luka. I mean, the dude just went for 13. I just think the offensive rebound is like... It could be sneaky. He could get that done super, super early. And he's just kind of, you know, the, the nine and a half line is pretty tight. If you look at the last, like, if, if you look at his whole year, um, he can totally get it done. I, I think he will. But I'm expecting him to get me one offensive rebound. So that's what I'm going with. Um, and then, yeah, my other underdog play, I really like Nas Reed's three-pointers. Um, I was taking a look at this. This is pretty much what the dude's doing. He comes in and just starts firing a bunch of threes. So I like his three pointers over 1.5. Underdog does as well. Um, it's a 54.03% chance and almost minus 140 on the odds there. So there's some other juice plays on here if you guys want to take a look at those. But I really like Nas Reed's threes on underdog. They don't have that on prize picks, or I would probably take that too. But his points are just a little too high. That's like right at his line. So yeah, those are the two plays I've got today, guys. Um, like I said, if you like Lucas full rebounds, take that instead. But I'm going to be going with just the one offensive rebound here because I think he could just snag it done and get it done early. So, yeah, that's the two I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Russo, I hope you have a great anniversary, man. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Good luck, guys.